Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, select this background layer and lock. Then let's create new null object for control all these elements. Right mouse, new and null object. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double clip and behind icon like this. Click station tool and select this magnify, magnify glass, dock and image layers. Let's hide and select this null. Let's move it down like this. Okay, so select these all layers. Let's link to null object layer. Okay, select this null and let's enable title action save. Move to the center like this. Okay, and let's press P. Make new passing keyframe. Move to down. And let's go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down, or click time duration. Right here, plus 10 for go to 10 keyframes. Click OK. And let's move to up. Okay, and go to 10 keyframes again. I was use hold shift and page down and let's move it down go to 10 keyframes again move it up and again move it down and again move it up a little bit and again move it down so there are more keyframes for bones animation say keyframes make easy let's see okay not bad so in this time, let's hold shift, press S, open scale and click this icon and right now make scale keyframe and change scale like this. Move to left, first scale keyframe, let's see. Okay, let's change scale more, change 20 and go to next keyframe, change 115 and go to here, change 90% and next few frame change 105 and next few frame change 100 percent again we have more two frames for bones animation select two frames make easy or click f9 let's see nice i like it and let's select this okay two frames move to right let's see okay that's good and let's select last few frame Move to down and next 10 keyframes, move to up and next move to down like this. Okay, that's good. So select this keyframe, move to up a little bit. And this move to down. Okay, I like it. So in this time, select this layer open and close, go to solo and select this layer open and go to pen behind, move the anchor point up, okay, click station 2 and layer close, go to again pen behind, move the anchor point up like this, click station 2 and select this layer close, let's link to layer open. Select layer open and press R. Let's see. Okay, I want to do this 3D layer. Let's open rotation, click this icon for 3D layer. And right now I can make open animation like this. Also select this layer close, click 3D icon. And let's see. Nice. Let's unsolo these two layers. And select this layer close, press P, move to front. Okay, nice. And let's press R, chain rotation. Okay, very nice. So in this time, let's see timing. And in this time, make X rotation. Go to some keyframes, let's change quality quarter. And change rotation for open like this. Okay, go to 10 keyframes, chain rotation. Again, thank you frames for bones animation 
and select two frames make easy okay let's see okay nice let's select this close and let's unlink and select this layer open link to layer close select layer close link to null object let's see okay that's good so select these two frames move to left and in this time let's close these two frames and first enable image layer okay and let's move to right and go to here press p make new passing two frame go to back and move to down okay then let's hold shift press s go to again next two frame make scale two frame go to back chain scale let's move the anchor point down okay classification tool and chain scale zero okay and select this first two frame let's move it up a little bit Okay, select last key frame, move to down. Okay, so select key frames, make easy, and go to graph editor. Select this graph, make smooth, let's see. Nice, and select first key frames, move to right. Okay, not bad. Back to key frames and hold shift press air open rotation and make rotation two frame chain rotation 25 and go to here change minus 10 and go to here change 5 or 7 and here change minus 2 and 0 say two frames make easy okay that's good and select this layer dock let's enable and move to down and move to behind image layer so move to right this layer and select this image let's press u select all these few frames let's copy and select this layer dock go to pen behind move the anchor point down session two and got first second control V for paste and let's see okay let's press P go to last position two frames select passing two frames and move to right okay move to right a little bit nice I like it and select this magnify glass enable select magnify enable also and select this magnify glass layer link to magnify layer select magnify and go to pen behind move the anchor point here classification tool and let's move to right this layer also magnify glass layer move to right and select magnify press s and change scale zero make scale two frame go to 10 two frames change scale 110 go to 10 two frames change 90 go to 10 two frames again change 105 percent go to 10 two frames again change 100 percent select two frames make easy let's select work area okay that's good let's go to solo and right now hold shape press air open rotation make rotation two frame chain rotation minus 25 and go to here change 10 and next two frame change minus 5 and go to here change to that 5 and next two frame change 0 select rotation two frames make easy nice and let's go to unsolo and select this magnify layer move to left and select these two layers magnify and magnify glass let's see timing okay select this 
dock and image layers move to left also okay very nice so select these magnify and glass move to right a little bit okay i like it let's see animation okay it looks good very dynamic movements i like it so in this time select this magnify press p and in this time make new person keyframe go to here move to left and go to here move to down and here move to right and here move to left and here move to down and here move to left again up and select two frames make easies and let's see select work area okay nice and go to here let's add last two frames and let's here what's right nice so in this time let's hold shift press air and go to here change rotation like this and here change also rotation and next keyframe, frame chain like this and here and here change like this and last keyframe, frame change like this okay so let's see animation nice i like it so in this time let's close all these keyframes. frames and let's create new adjustment layer select this adjustment layer and change name magnify effect and go to fx presets search effect magnify and go to magnify from this road folder and use for adjustment layer and go to center let's click this icon and go to here click for put magnify and change magnification like this and change size let's move to left and select this magnify adjustment layer move to behind magnify glass layer okay and let's move to right so in this time select this adjustment layer press e for open fx and open magnify and right now select this magnify layer press p for c keyframes and go to first keyframe select this center let's move to here i will make this step by step change size make new keyframe for center and go to here let's move to left this magnify and next keyframe also can use these with expressions but i like this manual way Let's move to down. Okay, this is a very easy way. Go to next few frame. Move to right. Okay, and next few frame. Move to like this. And next few frame. Move to down. And next. Move to here. And next few frame. Move to left and last year frame move to here so let's see okay so select these two frames make easy okay so we have problem let's fix it go to here in this time let's select this center move to here okay nice and let's see what is the next problem? Okay, not bad. Let's see full animation. Very nice. So, in this time, let's close these settings and select this magnify. Link to magnify layer. Okay, I like it. So in this time, select this mail. Let's go to solo. Okay, and let's control D, move to up, and change name 
mask and let's go to solo right now go to pen tool and let's make mask like this okay let's move to left and let's select this mask press m and click inverted classification tool and on solo so let's see nice right now we can see this image and document layer behind the mask layer but we have problem let's fix it again select this dock layer and press u and change scale like this okay and select passing keyframes last position keyframe move to left okay nice and select this magnify adjustment layer magnify glass and magnify layer move to up to mask layer okay nice so let's see full animation okay very good so in this time let's add some keyframes for dock and image layers select this image and let's press u for cq frames and in this time let's go to here chain rotation for dynamic scenes this is random rotation q frames and i use shift and page down for go to 10 q frames and let's select work area okay nice and select these rotation two frames hold alt move to right nice and select this dock layer press u for c two frames and let's make some for this chain rotation and go to next two frame chain rotation again and next two frame and next Okay, very nice. So, select these rotation keyframes and let's move to left for random keyframes. And select this keyframe, copy pass. Okay, very nice. So, select these rotation keyframes, move right like this. And let's move to right few frames here. Okay, nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.